Gertrude Hullett died on the 23rd of July 1956 at the age of 50. She had been depressed since her husband's death, but didn't suffer from any other illness or diseases. It was believed that she overdosed on antidepressants on the 19th of July, and she remained in the coma until she passed away. In her will, she left her doctor a Rolls Royce valued at £2,900. The coroner who performed the autopsy insisted that Gertrude hadn't committed suicide, prompting an investigation into the background of the doctor who had been treating her. The police discovered that Dr. Adams's patients tended to pass away from cerebral thrombosis or cerebral hemorrhage shortly after designating him as a benefactor in their wills. Moreover, many of them had been in unexplained comas at their times of death. The police suspected that Dr. Adams had murdered 163 of his patients, but they were only able to charge him with fraud and one count of murder. In July 1957, he was found guilty of eight counts of forging prescriptions, four counts of falsifying cremation forms, and three offenses under the Dangerous Drugs Act. He was fined £2,857 and his medical license was revoked. It was reinstated in November of 1961, and Dr. Adams continued to practice medicine until his death in 1983.